free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. The one exception I would say is Near Automata. And why was that the exception? Because that game had a crazy fourth wall breaking plot, the likes of which we still haven't seen since then. That game was written in such a complex, interesting way that it made me, after your urging, want to go back and see the rest of it. And that really got me. That is not Stellar Blade at all. Stellar Blade is a game that is made with that style of gameplay, which is fine, that is literally designed to be exploitative of the female body to get people to buy the game. The game dev is unknown for this and has outright stated it multiple times. If I play that game, all you're going to have is people perving out in my chat constantly. There's no room in my content for that. I'm not playing it, period. There's no reason to ever bring it up ever again. To me, it doesn't exist. You might, and that's fine. Enjoy it. I can't play it. I'm not playing it. Don't waste my time talking about it. Okay. <clears throat> exactly, Swaggon. You know, he says your old school Phil would have been all over it. People still think you're that guy. I'm not. That guy disappeared seven, eight years ago. I grew up and matured. I'm married now. I don't fucking care about that shit. You're right. Old school Phil would have played it like he played Bayonetta 1. But take a look at me. Even, even take a look at me playing Bayonetta 2, right? Which actually was a long time ago on the Wii U. I didn't like that either. I outright said to you guys, man, that, you know, it's all right, but it's kind of boring. And I, you know, the whole appeal again is fucking half naked woman. It's stupid. It does. I'm not entertained by that. It's not entertaining to me in any way, shape or form. I've outgrown that kind of content. That content was for a different audience. When I was younger and I was trying to uh, appeal to teenagers on YouTube, that's when that content made sense. I just don't get it anymore. And you know what I'm saying? I don't like it. I'm not going to enjoy it. The audience is going to act like a bunch of dumb kids. There's no point. You know, there's no point at all. <laughs> Jason Smith. Is 90% of people who hype it are only interested in jerking their meat. There you go. <laughs> no, I mean, in reality, it's sad. Here's why it's sad, okay? Let's say Stellar Blade actually is stellar. Let's say it has groundbreaking... I said groundbreaking. Groundbreaking gameplay. A riveting story, the likes of which we've never seen before. None of that will matter. The only thing you will remember it for and people will talk about is the girl. Because that's what the game dev was intending. He did it on purpose. So no matter what, it doesn't matter how good the game is, you pigeonhole yourself into being known as the sexualized game. Is that what you really want? I mean, maybe it's going to sell more copies for you, but in the long run, I think it's stupid. And that's my opinion. Like I said, and I'll say it again, if Stellar Blade had a dude in the title role, not this woman, no one would be talking about this game in this way. Some people would be excited for it, but no one would be fanboying over the game, going crazy and shit. No. It's only because the protagonist is a woman designed to be over-sexualized. It's the only fucking reason. Sorry. It's just true. And if you don't believe me, go look at other similar games. They don't get this level of hyper-attention. This game is only because right now we have a stagnation of games. There's not any AAA hyped games out right now that anyone's really talking about. Right? That's true. And so it's going to come out, and it's going to have the space to be talked about, and it's just going to be over-focused on this woman's body, and that's it. <clears throat> uh, I got a $2 tip. But Ugly Tuna Roll, I didn't mean to offend. I won't bring it up. Pives of the Vibes only. There you go. All right. Thank you, Ugly Tuna Roll. You know, it's like I've been saying on this channel about extremes. I literally just said this about political extremes. I said, right now, the reason that our country is in the problems it's in is because the two parties are so extreme. No one's willing to see in the middle or work together, right? It's either you're all Democrat or all Republican. You're all right and you're all left. Well, to say, well, the reason this game's getting attention is because there's so many game devs and studios right now that are so leftist that they're making all the women look ugly. So this game's doing the opposite. Okay, great. It's still polarized. 
You understand? So if you disagree with something all the way to this direction, does that necessarily mean that the thing all the way to the other extreme is the correct thing? No. In reality, there's no reason to not have women in games that are realistic. They can be attractive, but that's not the only aspect of who they are. They're real women who have brains and, and plots and character development and story. You could have all of that. You can have the best of both worlds. You don't have to have all the way one way or all the way the other. In the middle is where you're going to find that medium that's the best option. But no one wants to care about that. Well, because they've been making games all the way that way, we got to make the game that's all the way over here, and we'll get that audience instead. Well, you can, you succeeded at your goal of getting the buzz and the talk and the controversy, but now all anyone's going to talk about in this fucking game is how the woman looks. No one will care about the rest of the fucking game. As much as people will pretend, oh, no, I'm an intellectual. I buy Playboy magazine for the articles. <laughs> yeah, right. No one fucking cares or believes you. You're so full of shit. You're so disingenuous. We know what you're buying the fucking game for. We're not stupid. And again, if that's the case, there's nothing wrong with that. You can buy the game for that. But I don't care about that. I'm not going to partake in it. <clears throat> Okay. Are we good now? Have we covered enough topics now? There you go. So there's the comparison. The people who are pretending like they're going to buy Stellar Blade and play it for the gameplay are the same people who say they buy Playboy to read the articles. You have your quote, and you can run with it now. <laughs> you have your quote. 